Hello, everybody. I'm John Burke, and I'm proud to be joining Bob Dorian as one of your hosts on American Movie Classics. You know, John Ford assembled quite a cast for the man who shot Liberty Valance. He used his regulars, John Wayne, James Stewart, but his favorite villain, Ward Bond, had died before filming began. Lee Marvin was honored to be cast as the most evil man ever portrayed in a John Ford film. The irony of the character's name didn't escape him. Marvin said, Liberty is a dangerous, dangerous thing. It requires more discipline than anything else. Well, it's a lesson as relevant today as it was almost 40 years ago when this picture was made. And critics were in awe of this movie. They were calling it one of John Ford's greatest achievements. One said, it achieves greatness as a unified work of art with the emotional and intellectual resonance of a personal testament. It was John Ford's final word on what a Western should be. Here are John Wayne, James Stewart, and Lee Marvin in The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance. <laughs> 